Right, hi everyone. My name is Kiran Kamiti. I'm a senior director in the cloud uh, business unit, uh, cloud platform and services business unit. I was previously the founder and CEO of Container X, the company that uh, Cisco had acquired six months ago. So it's my sixth month at Cisco. Feels like I'm a Cisco veteran already. But today I'm not here to talk about Container X, I'm here to talk about Contiv. Uh, because post uh, the Container X acquisition, the Contiv team also got blended into my team. And because it was all, uh, we were all doing something in the area of containers. Um, it, it made sense for the teams to work together. And uh, today we're going to talk about the uh, evolving cloud native landscape, which you guys are all very intimately familiar with, I'm assuming. Um, we're going to talk about Contiv itself and the, uh, the things that we have done with Contiv over the last six months. Uh, and uh, Rohit is going to show you a, a, a beautiful demo of Contiv working together with Kubernetes and ACI. I'm going to skip past these slides pretty quickly because these are things that you've probably heard in multiple presentations. The world is changing, right, in the data center. Uh, things uh, related to cloud are changing in, in many ways. Three trends to note among many other trends that are happening are that, number one, the world's becoming more and more multi-cloud. You, you don't just have things on-premise, you don't just have things on the public cloud, but, but multi-cloud is the, is the name of the game today. Developer self-service is becoming increasingly dominant as opposed to developers waiting for IT admins to provision them something. Developers are getting increasingly used to going to a portal and getting what they want with instant gratification right there, right? And the third one is the world's becoming more and more cloud native when it comes to new application development. So anytime developers uh, within line of business applications or ISVs, they're trying to build something, they're looking at cloud native um, you know, as obviously the, the most, the, the immediate thing to, to, uh, to uh, look to. And only if that doesn't work, uh, then they're looking at legacy ways of, of building applications. The landscape, though, is extremely crowded. There's just way too many uh, vendors doing things in the world of containers. Um, specifically in the, in the area of networking, there's a bunch of different players. But when it comes to... Uh, uh, and and, and that's, that's what we're going to double click on today and how Contiv stands apart and why did we as Cisco uh, decide to productize Contiv and put weight behind it. Contiv was an open source project at Cisco and when I joined uh, the company, when the ContainerX company got acquired, the Contiv team became part of my team and we evaluated various um, networking op options that were out there and we realized that it made sense to productize Contiv because it truly was the most powerful in terms of the comprehensiveness of networking capabilities that Contiv offered. So let's talk a little bit about why networking uh, challenges arise when uh, developers start writing applications for the cloud native world. Firstly, 15 years back when you know, pre-VMware, pre-VM days, the world was very simple. You had compute storage network, everything was, was beautiful and simple. Then VMs came along and complicated things a bit because you, not, you then not only had to write code that, uh, in such a way that these VMs not only needed to communicate with each other, they also needed to communicate across hosts. And therefore, you, ha you saw the, uh, the birth of overlay networks and technologies like ACI and NSX, et cetera, they became popular. Now the world has become even more complex. You have containers running on bare metal. You have containers running on VMs. These containers need to communicate with each other. These containers need to communicate across VMs and across hosts. So overlay on top of overlay is not the right way to solve them. If you look at the default networking te uh, technologies that come with Docker or that come with Kubernetes, Docker comes with libnetwork, which is an overlay network. Uh, Kubernetes comes with Flannel, which is also an overlay network. Overlay on top of the VM overlay is, is uh, bad in many different ways. It is, it is bad because of performance. It is bad uh, because of uh, connectivity issues. Uh, because it, it, um, it, it's also bad because it doesn't uh, really do anything special when it comes to hardware that you may have in your, in your environment that you want to make use of, such as ACI. That's why um, Contiv was built. It was built by a distinguished engineer at Cisco called Vipin Jain. He uh, is no longer with Cisco, but his team transitioned over and is, not, is now part of my team. Um, the most important thing to note is when you look at some of the container networking tools out there, they either do L3, they either do overlay, or things like that. Contiv is extremely powerful. It does L2 networking, L3 networking, overlay networking. It also does uh, great things when, when you have an ACI fabric uh, in your network. And Rohit is going to show a demo of that. One of the things that you normally don't think of, of when you think of Cisco is open source, right? Contiv was built as an open source project. And over the last six months, as uh, you know, when we came on board, we, we looked at the different ways in which Contiv can be productized in different business models. And we realized that 
keeping it 100% open source is the right business model for content. It was a bit of a change within Cisco because we had to get, uh, in order to offer commercial support uh, for an open source product, we had to actually talk to uh, you know, Cisco technical support teams, which were previously not um, accustomed to open sourcing or, and offering uh, commercial support to an open source product. And that's what we are, uh, we're trying to have conversations with. And, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that Cisco, uh, Contiv is actually one of the first products, the first product within Cisco that Cisco is going to be offering commercial uh, tech support for. Um, so we're breaking new grounds here when it comes to Cisco being open source friendly and all of that. Contiv, uh, the way it's designed is it is uh, designed to work on any of the popular infrastructure uh, platforms. So whether you have VMs, whether you have bare metal, um, uh, on, on the public cloud, on your premises, uh, Contiv is designed to work with it. It's designed to work with in any networking mode, and I talked about L2, L3, ACI, as well as overlay. And it's also designed uh, from a uh, developer perspective to have a policy. So, th so there's two sets of people that will be using this kind of product. When, when it comes to run container networking, the DevOps person is the person that is going to set application-specific policies as to what uh, those uh, policies around bandwidth or isolation should be. For example, you can specify this application when it's running in one segment cannot communicate with another segment, or this is how much bandwidth the application should be using and, and it should be throttled around. Those kinds of parameters can now be set by the developer. The, uh, but from an IT admin perspective, the IT admin is the one that's configured, uh, especially the network admin that configures ACI, for example, or uh, this would be the admin that would want, uh, from an administrative perspective, want to do role-based access control. So Contiv offers both administrative policies with a nice GUI. At the same time, it offers uh, developer uh, sort of policies that the DevOps person can set. And over the last few months, we've worked to make sure that the Contiv support matrix is not just Docker, but it also supports Kubernetes. It also supports OpenShift, because it's op OpenShift is becoming a quickly popular Kubernetes distribution platform lately. So this is what we did in the last uh, six months, especially the last four and a half months or so. We realized that Contiv was, had the good beginnings of an open source project, but it was missing things like LDAP and role-based access control. It was missing things like a good user experience with respect to installation process. The installation process previously was a, step, was a list of 15 to 20 steps. Now we simplified that to one step that you can execute and install uh, the Contiv plugin. So we've introduced Kubernetes 1.4 support with the CNI uh, plugin uh, format. Um, we have introduced Docker 1.1.2 support. We have worked closely with Red Hat to introduce uh, OpenShift uh, support, and the installation process has been made super simple. And like I mentioned before, commercially supported Contiv, you know, it's to be, it'll be announced shortly over the coming weeks, but Contiv is going to be the very first product at Cisco that will have uh, commercial support offerings, both from Cisco Solutions as well as advanced uh, uh, services.